Good morning. We're here in West Malian, which is a short cul-de-sac of just uh, a handful of houses off Colwell Close, which in turn is off of Colwell Road, just on the southern side of town. We're very near to the hospital. The big house at the end there, that's the original house where these houses were built in the garden. And the hospital is literally behind there, so a great location. There's uh, just to the left in Colwell Close, there's some steps down onto Franklin Road, so you can walk down to the town centre or around to the co-op store or some Wilfrid's Primary School very, very quickly. But now, have a look at the house. Uh, built in 1984, uh, and the owners have been here since 1984. Uh, the owner himself has been in the uh, building industry all his life, has carried out loads of improvements to the house, uh, a couple of little extensions, but it's been very well cared for. So uh, come inside and have a look. You see, you've got this lovely long dri big driveway, I and mean, you can park certainly four cars off the road if you wanted to. Uh, one thing I didn't just show you is that just above that window at the front is an, uh, an electric awning that comes out, but uh, come in. A bit of an entrance porch here and an entrance lobby great uh, cloak hanging area we've got a downstairs loo here again this has all been refitted in recent years very nicely done and then like an inner lobby in a hall which is very nice but this house is absolutely immaculate new doors obviously new internal doors so right we've got a living room big triple aspect living room here a nice big bright room something you you can't quite see properly but they've put this suspended ceiling in so you've got the spotlights in the suspended ceiling which i've turned on and then the uh the concealed lighting round behind that it makes it a pretty lovely room so that's turning the uh the back lights up fully so great big triple aspect room here just a feature fireplace and then that leads into a conservatory. This was a conservatory, and then in the last year or so, they've had a, a, uh, a much more solid construction roof put on to make this more of a all year round garden room rather than anything else. But all the aspects. I've lifted uh, most of these blinds this morning. I'll take you out in the garden shortly as well. But a great big room, so a big bit of living space here. They spend most of their time in here. And we have another look at that living room from this angle. Super bit of space. Very deceptive house, this one. From the front, yes, it does look like a big house. Um, does look like a big house from the front, but actually it is a lot bigger once you get in here. So internal dining room. That's just a useful storage cupboard in there. And again, lovely doors. They put these new oak doors on, on here. And then we sort of go through to another lobby. Well, this is part of an extension. I, I think, not sure if this would have been once the dining room or the kitchen was, was here, but this is now like a utility area. And you've got these light tubes. Don't know if you've ever seen those, but that is natural light shining down through there. They're fantastic. So utility area here. And that's just a door into the double garage. So a big bit of space there with the electric up and over door. And then the kitchen's at the back. Again, refitted a few years ago. Really nice tiled floors in here. And like the rest of the house, it's absolutely spotless. I'll quickly take you outside. Got a stable door there and another set of doors out to the uh, rear garden. Got a bit of an astroturf area here above the decking. A little summer house. I'm assuming that's included, but don't hold, take my word for it. And as you come round, you get a, get a better impression of the back of the house here. And the garden, they've got it the way they want it. They've got a terrace, this deck, a little area of lawn. Done lots of planting over the years. And they've got a sunken area here, which is another terrace. Again, lots of plants, potting areas. And then the owner has a very useful workshop around the back here. Every man needs one of these. with all workbenches. I think he'd like to take this with him. The radio is not included. And just over this fence here, that's the Franklin Road. So that road, you can walk up to the state, up to the hospital or down to the town centre. 
and then come back inside. Take you back through the conservatory. I keep calling this conservatory, it's, it's better than a conservatory. You probably see you've got these Velux windows with the uh, electric uh, openers on those, so don't even have to have a pole to turn those up. Again, another good look at that room there. I mentioned earlier, you can walk to St Wilfrid's Primary School, which is literally just around the corner in Eastern Road. Um, you can walk down to St Joseph's, which is the Roman Catholic Primary School and Warden Park Primary Academy. Uh, children from this side of town generally fall into the catchment area for O'Toole Secondary School, which is just down in Linfield, which is about a 15, 20 minute walk. So let's go around the bedrooms. Very much the hobby room. This is the sewing room. But this is a quite a nice sized bedroom. They've got a lot of stuff in here, but it's a good double bedroom. And overlooking the front of the property. Most of the houses in this close have had some alterations. They're all of the same age. And uh, Manson and Taggart, we've sold, I think, almost all of them over the years. One or two of them a couple of times. One of the back bedrooms. Again, nice size double. It's a good, well proportioned house. I mean, if they built this house again today, they'd have probably squeezed five bedrooms in. Another big wardrobe there. They'd have probably squeezed five bedrooms in and another two bathrooms. I mean, they just really cram bedrooms and bathrooms into houses these days. But this is a really nice size double. I'd say that's probably the second bedroom. Then along the landing, got the family bathroom there. And again, refitted a few years ago. Got the freestanding bath. Nice big vanity unit, lots of storage, a window. And then the third bedroom is at the front. This is very much our teddy bear's room. Overlooking the front. Again, it's a double sized bedroom, but because they've got a lot of stuff in here, it makes it feel a bit smaller, but very generous room. And then the main bedroom is at the back. So big bedroom. Plenty of fitted wardrobes in here. Lots of fitted furniture, so no shortage of storage. Overlooking the back. This is that roof over the conservatory I mentioned, so really seriously heavy duty, I think. So nice big master bedroom. And then an ensuite in here. The town centre is literally at the bottom of Franklin Road, so that's Genuinely no more than a 10 minute walk into town. And you can walk down to the station in probably 20 minutes easily from here as well. But this side of town, particularly popular with families because of the uh, St Wilfrid School is very popular and those working at the hospital, which is literally around the corner. So hope that gives you a pretty good impression. Um, if you'd like to come and have a look, do let us know. Um, I've mentioned that the house has been altered and extended, but there's still a lot of potential to do further improvements and if you wanted to I mean the garage is integral if you ever wanted to convert that into another big playroom or home office working space you could but that gives you a pretty good idea of number two West Mallion come and have a look